with Kent Little from uh, Sea Lake Yacht Sales in Houston, Texas. So I um, want to ask Kent to just give us his first impression of the first day of seeing the first boat, boat hole number one. I think uh, Jerry and the design team did a, an excellent job with the execution of the, the boat as a uh, mid 40 foot range. The layout works real well. The cockpit is uh, ingeniously thought out with the backstays out of the way and the layout. The cockpit's very functional. I think it's a well, well executed for use of space and the cockpit locker lid opening up for the, the uh, possible second aft stateroom or storage locker works real well. The whole boat's executed really well. The storage amount of storage inside is well thought out. There's probably more drawers in this boat than most 47s have. And uh, interior space-wise, it's, it's a much larger boat than the 44 feet it appears to be. So how about styling-wise? I think it's uh, got real good styling. It's not too much uh, headroom inside, but it's nearly seven feet, but you don't notice it uh, from the freeboard from the exterior. Seeing it go down the canal earlier today, it, it uh, was, was very low profile for the size boat that it actually is. All right. Well, thanks, Kent, for just the first impression. Any other last comments here? I think it's going to be a good selling boat for, for Catalina. We're looking forward to getting one in Houston. Okay, great. Thanks. All right. All right. We're with uh, Tim Fulbright from Sail Place in Waukegan, Illinois. They also have a store in Spring Lake, Michigan. You've been at Catalina there for how long? 37 years. 37 years. You can tell by the white hair and the white mustache. So what do you think of home number one here? I'm liking it a lot. It's a boat we've always wanted for a cruising couple or a cruising family. It has lots of storage in it, big cockpit, dual helm. Uh, it has a lot of innovations that Jerry has come around. Uh, every time he designs a new boat, we have new great things from Catalina. So what's the uh, the first the first gadget that you liked on the boat? Well, I'm partial to the deck. I like the cockpit layout. I like the winches aft uh, near the helm. I like the raised uh, helm seats uh, for the skipper. I like the length of the cockpit, the depth of the cockpit. Uh, I, I do like the optional uh, bowsprit for asymmetrical sails. Uh, I think I'm liking the backstays moved a little bit forward on the boat to open up the stern. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to move around. Uh, of course, down below, that, that's the highlight of the boat, probably the, the third cabin, the, the flex cabin. Um, that's what you're going to call it, the flex cabin? Well, that's, that's a one good, name for that's, it. That's a pretty neat idea. It, it, it's, a, it's a convertible space. So uh, what is the flex cabin? Well, it has, uh, I think, two or three uses uh, for a children's cabin, uh, a, a third adult uh, double bunk cabin, obviously a, a workspace storage area for a cruising couple. Uh, I think uh, a photo with a couple of bicycles down there. or uh, It's uh, that big, huh? Oh, yeah. It's huge. huge. Great. It works out great. And then so is the owner's cabin forward. Just a, a great boat with a lot of new, innovative ideas. How about that forward, that forward bunk? What's, well, I like the comfort level. Uh, you push the button, and it becomes a, a lounge chair or a, a reading area. Uh, Just like those beds on TV, where you get the comfort bed, right? You press the button, dial in your number, and it goes up, right? Just about, yeah. I think right. it, uh, it's you know, it's a space someone can be comfortable with and get away from the, everything else going on in the boat and just kind of uh, be absorbed in their own forward cabin. How about the look? Styling. Well, the style's great. Uh, it's it's still Catalina, but it's an extension of you know more new ideas from Jerry yep. Douglas. All right. Well, thanks. Think right. you can sell some? Thank you. Oh, I know we will. Oh, great. Thank you.